This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. DD. A qualitative impairment in social interaction, a qualitative impairment in communication, and restricted and repetitive behavior. DSM-5 combines the social and communication dimensions into one, namely deficits in social communication. This is consistent with the profile of social and communication abilities recognized by clinicians and speech pathologists and confirmed by research. DSM-5 has effectively reduced the 12 symptoms of PDD to 7 symptoms of ASD. However, ASD is a complex developmental disorder and collapsing the diagnostic dimensions of autism from 3 to 2 contravenes clinical experience and factor analytic studies that suggest 3 to 6 dimensions. Diagnostic criteria in DSM-5. According to DSM-5, the essential features of ASD are persistent deficits in reciprocal social communication and social interaction and restricted repetitive patterns of behavior, interests, or activities. A. Persistent deficits in social communication and social interaction. A1. Deficits in social-emotional reciprocity. The underlying assumption in the diagnostic criteria is that someone who has an ASD has difficulty reading social situations. From my clinical experience, there are three adaptations to this characteristic. The most conspicuous is a tendency to be withdrawn, shy and introspective in social situations. Avoiding or minimizing participation or conversations, or conversely, actively seeking social engagement and being conspicuously intrusive and intense, dominating the interaction and being unaware of social conventions such as acknowledging personal space. In each example, there is an imbalance in social reciprocity. However, I have identified a third strategy for coping with difficulties with reading social situations, and that is to avidly observe and intellectually analyze social behavior and to achieve reciprocal social interaction by imitation and using an observed and practiced social script based on intellectual analysis rather than intuition. This is a compensatory mechanism, often but not exclusively, used by girls with Asperger syndrome, who are thus able to express superficial social abilities that can be confusing to the diagnostician. In addition, adults who have Asperger syndrome can gradually learn to read social cues and conventions, such that the signs of deficits in social-emotional reciprocity may not be conspicuous during short social interactions such as a diagnostic assessment. Asperger's syndrome also has a signature language profile. This can include impaired pragmatic language abilities, that is, the art of conversation, such as attentive listening, where the tendency to engage in monologues and a failure to follow conversational rules. There may be literal interpretations, with the tendency for the person become greatly confused by idioms, figures of speech, and sarcasm. There may also be unusual prosody. For example, a child may consistently use an accent based on the voice of a television character, or an adult may speak with an unusual tone, pitch, and rhythm. All these characteristics affect the reciprocity and quality of conversation. A deficit in emotional reciprocity can be explored by examining whether the person shows reciprocal affect in facial expressions, body language, and tone of voice. The clinician can tell a story of personal experiences and assess whether the person was in tune and resonated with the clinician's feelings and experiences 
by the use of nodding, reciprocal smiles, and appropriate facial expressions, uncomplimentary sounds, or utterances.